So next we're going to look at this part of Newcrest here where um, the architect Morgan, she was trying to get five of these same homes built but was unable to acquire these two properties to you know, bring them up to speed. So you've got a couple older properties and then they're framing three brand new um, trailer homes that were put there. So I think that the first home I'm gonna show you is uh, Grandma Smith's home. It's a, a grandmother with two kids, with two cats, similar situation to the Bartleys, but um, very different home. So let's take a look. Okay, now you have seen this home before and you have seen her before because she was in my original first save game. So I'm just going to give you a quick tour of Granny's home just so that you can remember it, but pretty much all the same on the outside. Um, as you can see here, so just take a look at them. I'm going to take you in detail to each one, but just so you can see and remember the wraparound porches Granny has, um, all of the gardening things, and just like how intricate her home and her life is. She's like a master knitter, and she, you know, just loves to mentor and teach other girls uh, things. So she's, you know, very like crafty, like very traditional. <laughs> Here's the kitchen. Uh, I don't think I changed much on there except getting rid of these books and putting them here because they were bigger and food kept getting stuck in there that you couldn't see. And the kitty things are under here. Um, yeah. The living room is in the same place. I didn't change anything in her house over here. So, you know, the bathroom and all that is dark now because no one's in there. And then when you go upstairs here, you have the closet here with the ladder going up to the loft. You have the craft room, which this one did change a bit because I moved the desk over and put a computer in there and some things so that the girls, this is the only place Granny wants a computer so that that's, you know, good area for that. Um, and then the beds in here in the girls' room because, of course, I needed bunk beds rather than the one bed that was in here before. So that's the only difference here. I think Granny's room is the same as it was before. I don't think I changed anything there or in the bathroom. Um, and then if we go upstairs to the loft, I changed a lot here because this is where the girls can come and hang out. Look, when I was playing chess in there now and do their artwork and play in that um, activity home. And yeah, they you know, they can do lots of things up here. Um, so yeah, that's it. The only thing Granny's house is missing is a scary basement, but that's her house. And can't forget those flamingos and granny. Love it. Okay, so this is where the Sparrow family lives. And the Sparrows are just, this is like old, old Newcrest um, before they knew there were people here in Newcrest. Um, so this home, you enter it up here. It's, it's actually on a very tall foundation. Um, as you see around here, um, I mean, it's kind of like on its own little mountain top. Look at, look at how high that is. And, um, yeah. Uh, also, but let's take a look at the house. So you come up these steps and, uh, you go in here. Um, this is also a very, very old build. I mean, like, I think a couple years ago I built this. I'm not sure. So, it is very, very old. Um, when you come in here, you first have, you just have the kitchen here. And you have 
this is a, a, a tiny home as well. Um, you have the kitchen and um, the dining room, and you have. Hey, where's where's my chair? What the hell happened to my chair? Am I just too close to it? I don't see it, or or or, or what? Okay, time out. All right, my chair is here. It hasn't disappeared. I don't know why I couldn't see it. Um, anyways, this is the, the main area of the house. And yeah, he looks like a real country kind of guy. <laughs> As you can see the aesthetic here. And if you go in this first door here, you have the bathroom, um, a bathroom. There's actually two bathrooms in this house, I think, if I remember correctly. So you have this bathroom and the shower and the toilet. And then uh, when you come back out the door, over here directly across is Little Bro's room. It's a very, very small room, but it gets the job done, I think, right? And on this side, you have some shelves, a castle, house, toys, rug, bed, dresser. Everything a person could want or desire for their bedroom. Okay, so now we go down the hall, go down the hall. That's dad's room. I'll show you that last. There's, oh, there's his daughter. Oh, she's got a breakout. I got to wash her face. All right, we'll show you dad's room because they're in my way. All right, so dad's room is simple. All wood, everything wood. He loves his swords. You know, he's just into those stories of long ago because there's history in this house. Remember, this house is really old. Come out of his room. Okay, directly across here you have the washer and dryer right there and in here I believe we have another bathroom. yes we do okay this is the other bathroom has a bathtub and everything look at that wow way to use space in this house and then here you have the third bedroom which is obviously the teenage daughter's bedroom with all the posters and the bed and the makeup and stuff like that now this house is so cool, the outdoors. You come out here out this door and you're out the back here. Look at this. Look at this overlook on Newcrest. Look at this. Now you come around here in the corner. It's very steep, so you have railing here. But look at this view. He has got the view here. Little picnic table for the kids. Um, barbecue, little fire pit area, horseshoe place here, little garden chest. There's a big um, tree there. But I realize now that when you get up close, that's when it disappears. But there he is. There's his son, the younger one. When I first made this family a couple years ago, um, the sun froze in the pool. That's no longer out here, but the other son died. So I made a new one. Anyways, you come down here and you go down the hill, down these steps, which I've also play tested. And then you have a nice little fishing pond here, which I haven't stocked. Once I stock it, it'll be so much nicer. But uh, that's basically it for the cabin. All right, so next here we have the Coombs house. Now these next three houses are very plain, all the same, very cookie cutter. They're not overly decorated because their stories will enrich and decorate the house as we play in it. If we play in it, if not, it'll just stay very plain, kind of like... Ikea move-in, prefabbed homes, do nothing, everything's set for you and affordable. So well, there used to be homes like that in Miami too. Not now, but there used to be. All right, so in the Coombs home, 
Um, these are all shotgun style, meaning they go straight through. You go in the front and out the back kind of thing, um, kind of homes. And Miss Coombs is an old widow who adopted a child because she was lonely. So that's who lives here. She lives here with her daughter that she just adopted and her cat. And she loves her cat and she wears cat shirt. Okay, so when you walk in here, you have basically the same layout in all uh, three of the homes with the sofas. And but here you have the cat. So you have the little cat bed and the litter box behind the sofa. And here, the cat loves this, by the way. It's so pretty, isn't it? The cat tree. And uh, the kitchen. Kind of like Granny's house. Look at that weird shadow thing that was in the corner. And uh, yeah, I love, I think all three of them have also that entrance way to hang coats and things like that. And now here, this same layout too for all three, where you go down the hallway. Here, straight down the hallway in front of you is the bathroom. It's just dark because the lights are out, but this one's just all blue and white with white walls, blue and white flooring, and just those details. That's basically it. And then um, over here, this door leads you to the daughter's room, which is just plain, like I said, not even decorated really, just some wallpaper and furniture, a journal, and then over here is the the main room, which you have to go through to go through to get out the back, and it's just plain room, nothing to it, not even a family picture on the wall, nothing, and a little desk there with the computer that you see the daughter playing out the out the back door they all are like this by the way they're all shotgun style and they all have the same back porch with the same uh what do you call those rocking chairs <laughs> and the same rocking chairs and the gardens well no they don't all have the same garden she has a garden she's just looking for things to do and then she got the little pool and stuff for the kid, the little um, swing. And there's an old RV park there. She used to go out with the with her husband in the RV and um, not no more. So that's basically it for the Coombs house. Next, we are at the um, Bynum home. And the Bynum home is the other teenager she's a teenage girl and her little sister so we have tegan bynum uh, and gianna bynum which believe it or not tegan bynum was originally at the grace house um, when the original grace died the founder of that home so yeah so let's uh go in or let me just uh take off the roof just so you can see the basic differences in this house because like i said they're all exactly the same um, layout and everything just difference in maybe colors so these are the brighter blue the cabinets um, this is a different sofa layout here there's no cat or pets remember these are two kids living here um, making their own way and here in the bathroom this bathroom I think was a little different was it I can't remember now yeah this one's just all white same tub and everything else um, no other difference and um, let me see and the the room the little sister's room is just very yellow with the egg rug the egg and toast and yeah so basically the same the desk and here is the sister's room. Same exact furniture, same everything. 
as the other one. And when you go out the back here, you have just bluer rocking chairs, but basically everything the same. There's no garden here. She's not doing that. She doesn't have time for that. Look at her cleaning the barbecue. If she cleans it too much, I'll get rid of it because there's lots of barbecues over there. So I don't know that these homes will need barbecues. We might be getting rid of that because they incessantly clean them. Um, and outside here is just a red swing and just one little car, no RV here. And the columns here are blue instead of white. Down here, that's all. And the final home in the New Crest building, that's nine o'clock, so it's officially dark in the town, <laughs> is the Danube home. I don't know if you remember the Danews, but boy, do they have a story because neither of these kids were birthed by Hodder. Um, but uh, they have the same exact home, just like I said, a little difference aesthetically. And they have an old boat there they don't have anymore. And um, let me see what differences we have here. I think their home might be very plain as well. Uh, but they have two kids in it. So yeah, there are a couple differences. Um, there's no pets here. All of this is the same. Um, the kitchen is different colors. Like the col the aesthetics here are very gray and neutral. And a couple little pops of color here, there, but not much. Um, look at her. She's just ridiculously beautiful um, but anyway here is the bathroom here is just pink and white everything's pink in the bathroom and uh, yeah and uh, let's see the kids room here the kids room is pink with bunk beds of course because there's two of them and uh, nothing else to see there just other than that. The desks here is just things are positioned just a little differently because there's two beds in here instead of one like in the other two trailers. And then if you go across here the uh, parents bedroom same thing except for you know the darker aesthetic. And out on the back porch here you have just more wood tones here on the railing and all of that. And then, of course, a darker things, a swing set, all the same. And you know what? That's, that's all she wrote. That is the tour of, uh, of the new crest, you know. The new new crest that is every home anyway so thank you so much for your patience with me and for encouraging me and inspiring me and I um, am really looking forward to exploring new crest with you <laughs>